what's good everybody welcome back to the Zilla Jackson channel I appreciate y'all for so much because this is a place where we do big things and make big plays whether it's on games or in life I appreciate y'all but it's right now let me talk to you for a second nah it ain't really ain't really nothing bad I just want to talk to you because there's been some things that's been on my mind it's nothing to do with me quitting or anything. I'm still going to be posting videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, there's like two things that I've been really thinking about actually doing. One of them, let's start off with the more achievable goal. And that is getting a new PC and streaming on Kick. Eh, I probably do a dual stream stream on Twitch and Kick, but I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me, because it honestly seems a lot easier going from Kick than it is doing it from Twitch. But the way the the way it folds, you never know. You never know. Um, in terms of the new PC. I've got ideas of things that's going to happen and ways I'm going to get it. And when I do get a new PC, I will show you guys. Please don't mind that that pile of clothes. Yeah, I know I said I was going to get that up. And I didn't. Oh, my room's clean. <laughs> it's just the clothes. Uh, everything's clean. It's just the clothes. That's just piled up right there. I got my pajamas right there too, bro. So it's like, yeah. But uh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is I had a dream the other day, bro. I had a dream the other night. Uh, everybody knows Moist Critical, right? Charlie, and some of you guys know. Uh, he is a uh, he is the Twitch streamer. Uh, he is a, a a wrestling league owner, a a uh, esports owner, and he's a uh, and he's a YouTuber. Yeah, I I had a dream that one I had my own organization just like he does just like he does but he calls his moist and I call it mine under the radar gaming and I really do want to want to make that and turn it into fruition because like all my life I've been gaming and all my life has been it's been pretty fun gaming so far thus far um but it's a lot of money to go into that, bro. It's a lot of money to go into that. I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. Even if it doesn't happen, I'm still gonna work hard to even try to come close to achieving that goal. But it's the way it started to the way it continued. I wanna say the way it ended because at the end of my dream, I died, so. <laughs> It wasn't like no no actual death, like I got shot or anything. It was more like I died natural causes. I got old. That's it. <laughs> but like it started off it was like it started off at the age I am now. But I didn't start off as a normal as the normal Twitch streamer. I was more like on on TikTok. So this is this is the message I put out was like if you're looking to be a pro gamer in either X Defiant, Apex, uh, you're you're into Overwatch, and you're trying to get into more of the comp space, well, how about we make our own org, just like FaZe, you know? Instead, we call ourselves Under the Radar, or UDR for short. Under the Radar Gaming is the is the place where the unscouted potential comes in just like how ESA 
does for multiple different orgs with more players getting more players new talent same thing as udr udr will be either your entry or i don't know <laughs> but at least at least you can compete find a team all that so I made the montages myself. I was thinking about making the montage today, actually. Low key, making a montage and post it on the UDR channel, which I do have. I do have the UDR channel already, but I have not one posted videos, and two I have not. Uh, how do I say it? Finish all the other stuff. I still need a logo for it. I was thinking about like having a. Have like a radar symbol, a big radar symbol. They just have UDR plastered over the radar symbol. But then I realized that that kind of uh, that kind of goes along with the under the radar gaming. I mean under under the radar football, and I don't want you to get copyright striked or like cease and assist or anything like that. So. But it, it's just a dream that I had. It continued like I got. So this is the way it continued. So I didn't realize it until like a, lo a lot later. Like I was 24, 25. And I had just got a following in Twitch and stuff. I had just got like a good following where I could be consistent and not work outside. Like in the regular workforce, I was Twitch streaming and putting out content, editing and all that consistently. It was like 24, 25 years old. And then I log into Apex again and I look under my UDR tag and I see all these new people that join. And then I then start putting out more montages getting people to email me their clips and stuff like that and well the work was created <laughs> so it was just something that came into mind i just wanted to share that share that with you guys if you guys want to hear more stuff like that or you guys want to hear more stuff about me and my life well um go ahead and comment that because i do kind of like talking as you can see i talked for eight minutes straight and <laughs> but uh if y'all liked it leave a like button if y'all didn't whatever it is what it is uh i understand because even if i didn't like something i probably would just click off the video but with that said you guys i hope you guys have a great rest of your day it's been your boy zilla jackson peace stay safe out there it's about to be 4th of July. People are already popping off fireworks and all that. So, be careful. Peace.